Unlike previous theories, which predict that behavior is a response to external stimuli, PCT assumes that behavior is goal-directed. When people aren't getting what they want, they use their behavior in an attempt to get closer to obtaining their goals, and in doing so, control is achieved. Behavior, according to PCT, is the control of perception. They're just showing the government that they've took it too far now, that people are trying to stand up for themselves. We don't want a regime, we want either a constitutional amendment or something that says that the next president of Egypt will be chosen by the people. Uh, when we say we don't want the regime, it doesn't mean we don't want Hosni Mubarak as a person and, uh, and be stuck with someone else who's imposed on us. We want to choose our president because we want to take this country uh, into the future. A lot of people say, how can people destroy their own community? But I don't think some of the people that have been, you know, doing the extreme violence feel part of the community. You know, I, I think that they have been disengaged from us for a very long time. What do you think the solution is? The only solution now possible is a change of regime through peaceful transmission of power so we can build a new democratic Syria. Uh, Condemn government, you know, it's raising the tuition fees, it's scrapping of EMA and the, uh, the linked marketisation of higher education, writing off the future for a whole generation of young people and for mature students as well, but especially for young people. Law-abiding, man. You're not law-abiding? No, no, no. Why, why do you say that? What are you here for? Me, to piss the police off, you get me? Why do you want to anger the police? Why, why do you they say are, that? They, you don't know what the police are like, bro. They, you, Oh, don't, oh, I can't explain the word to well, But we'll try to explain to me if you were uh, listening to you now. Consider what happens when a group comes together in a protest. People protest because their personal goals are not being met. When individuals come together in a group, they all bring with them their own personal goals. But as the group assembles, these individual goals average out to produce a seemingly shared goal. Kent McClelland calls this collective control. The protesters have a collective goal, but so do the police. As an institution, the police are there to enforce the law. While both parties have a shared goal of maintaining a peaceful protest, conflict may arise between their lower level goals, i.e. how they achieve these goals, which can lead to rioting. PCT suggests that you can't infer a person's goals from their behaviour. When a group of protesters gather, the police may feel that they pose a threat, inferring from their behaviour that they are there to cause trouble. However, the group are gathering with the intention of peacefully voicing their collective opinion. In an attempt to maintain the peace, the police attempt to disperse the crowd, which directly interferes with the protesters' primary goal to express their views. The conflict between the two groups can cause physical tension that can escalate into full-blown rioting. In this situation, the group feels that they have lost control, and in order to regain it, they act by physical means. From a PCT perspective, the key to a peaceful protest is communication between police and crowds to ensure alignment of goals. This will prevent any attempts to interpret goals through behaviour. The effectiveness of communication has been demonstrated in examples of peaceful protests. In order to prevent rioting, the crowd should feel in control. When the crowd are able to take responsibility for their own actions, as well as condemning any aggressive behaviour from individuals within the group, the role of the police can be one of assistance rather than enforcement. Anyway, we love you. Have a good day. For more information on perceptual control theory and its application, visit pctweb.org.